If you want to buy my notes, then check the link in the comment section and install the app now. In this video, we will see a problem on source transformation. Question Find the current in branch AB of the circuit shown in figure using source transformation. Solution First of all, we will take this circuit. Now, as we can see, we can convert this 6 volt voltage source and this 6 volt voltage source into its equivalent current source. First of all, let's convert this 6 volt voltage source into its equivalent current source. So it will be I is equal to V upon R. Now here the value of voltage is 6 and the series resistance value is 15. So 6 divided by 15 it will be 0 0.4 0 0.4 ampere now similarly this current will be i is equal to v upon r here the value of voltage is 6 and the value of resistance is 8 so it will be 6 divided by 8 0 0.75 ampere now let's replace these two voltage sources by their equivalent by their equivalent current source now currently this 15 ohm is in series so it will be in parallel so let's connect this in parallel it will be like this this is of 15 ohm and the uh, direction of current source will be according to the polarity of voltage source it will be like this and the value of current will be 0 0.4 ampere now similarly this 8 ohm will be in parallel now eight ohm and this 6 volt voltage source will be replaced by a current source and its value will be 0 0.4 75 ampere now here we can see this 15 ohm and 5 ohm are connected in parallel so 15 ohm parallel with 5 ohm it will be 15 into 5 divided by 15 plus 5 15 into 5 divided by 15 plus 5 It is 3.75. Now similarly this 8 ohm and 8 ohm are connected in parallel. 8 ohm parallel with 8 ohm. It will be 8 into 8 divided by 8 plus 8. Now this will be simply 4 ohm. So again let's copy this circuit from here. And paste it here. We can replace these two resistance by a single resistance of 3.75 so it will be of 3.75 ohm and we can replace these two resistance by a single resistance of 4 ohm now again we can convert this current source and this current source into its equivalent voltage source now it will be v is equal to i into r the value of current i is 0 0.4 into resistance value is we have to take the parallel branch resistance which is 3.75 3.75 it will be 0 0.4 into 3.75 it is equal to 1.5 1.5 volt now similarly for this it will be V is equal to I into R current value is 0 0.75 into resistance value is 4 if we solve this we get 0 0.75 into 4 it is 3 so it will be 3 volt so again here this current source is currently in parallel 
now the voltage source will be in series and the polarity will be according to the direction of this current so here this will be positive and this will be negative positive side is on upper side because the direction is on upper side and its value will be 1.5 volt 1.5 volt now we can erase this current source from here now similarly oh there is a little mistake i did so just erase this erase this circuit we have to take this circuit so again let's copy this from here and paste it here now let's erase this and we can replace this by a voltage source so it will be a voltage source of 1.5 volt now we can erase this current source now here also we have to make the voltage source and the polarity will be like this positive on upper side and negative on low, lower side because the direction is upward and its value will be 3 volt now we can erase this current source now we have to find the current through branch ab so we can find by using kvl let's say this current is current i so let's apply kvl let's say we are starting from this point so it will be minus 1.5 then plus 3.375 3 into i then plus 10i then plus 4i then plus 3 is equal to 0 we are assuming this this direction of current now this will be let's take i common so it will be 3.75 plus 3.75 plus 10 plus 4 so it is 17.75 17.75 and this will be minus minus 1.5 then plus 3 it is plus 1.5 is equal to 0 we can take this on right side so it will be i into 17.75 is equal to minus 1.5 so therefore i is equal to minus 1.5 divided by 17.75 if we solve this we get minus 1.5 divided by 17.75 so it is equal to 0 0.084 minus 0 0.084 ampere or we can write i is equal to if we click this button then it will be minus 84.5 milliampere here we can see it is 10 to the power minus 3 that means we can replace this by milliampere don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching